Hey guys, and welcome back to another Sims 4 100 baby challenge video. We're back with the Gibbs family. It's Monday morning, so hopefully some of our Sims will uh, grade up and be able to age up today. Uh, but everyone's pretty much just coming down, getting some breakfast, having some showers, that kind of thing. Connie is in her third trimester now, so she could give birth at any point, probably today. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that it's after three o'clock when Joey should have aged up and have left the house so he should be able to get twins um but I have no idea I have no you know ability to like help decide when that's gonna happen so we might get twins today we might just get a single child um I suppose the benefit of if it happens before he leaves the house is that as soon as he does leave have another spot, Connie can become pregnant again. Um, and you know, next time we get her pregnant, we'll do the Woohoo Club thing again because that was really good, really cool. Now, let's have a little check on our little kiddos. Yep, school starts for everyone in an hour. Okay, let's come get some leftovers. Uh, we're gonna up her responsibility. There we go. She eats food. Oh, he's upset that he is well, smelly, needs attention and fun. So I think today, while the kids are at school, uh, we'll get Connie to spend some time with the kiddos. Are you gonna get some food? Go on, get some leftovers. You're fine. Okay, so Connie's gonna come and give the kids a bubble bath, each in order of kind of like who needs it most and who needs the attention most. So Lexi's up first. Oh, we've got today's mail <gasps> and bills. We owe ten thousand simoleons in bills. Wow, that's a lot. But I suppose that's because we live in Del Sol Valley. We live in a celebrity lot. Uh, we also have a massive house. Um, we live in a, you know, we live in a massive house. And also we have the money trees. So, yeah, and we they currently have fruit on them. Uh, we'll raise manners. But anyway. Oh my God, extra credit phone keeps ringing. I might try and get these ones, these two kiddos, to get their skills up. So I think it's you have to max three skills, including the potty training skills. So if we can get them to be potty trained at least somewhat. Uh, so she's independent, she can do it on her own. He is not. No, he's clingy, which is really annoying. I know he doesn't need it, but if he can get some level. Oh, pardon me. <gasps> Connie's gone into labour. Oh, right, okay. I can't really leave her in labour for like three hours. So I think we're going to have to have the kid now. She just. Oh, no, okay. No, she can be in labour for three hours. Should we leave her in labour to hope for twins? I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let her just stay as she is for now, and I'll make her give birth when the kids come home. So, oh look at that! Patrick's being good. He's cleaning up all our dishes for us. I'm just gonna see if our cake. No, I was just wondering if it was still in one piece, uh, but it's not. So we'll have to make another cake. And to get Connie's fun up, we'll make her listen to Electronica. That's not one of the ones that um, uh, some music is stuff that will like have an influence on um, what gender the baby is going to be. Like right now, because it's like at the point of giving birth, I don't think it would um, actually matter. But you know. We'll try and avoid them, because, you know, otherwise it's unfair. Right. Let's do a still thing a little bit 
attention. She's still missing a little bit of attention, so if we get them to play with each other, then we should be good. Oh, Sims have managed to put f things up there. It's very gross. Okay. Two hours. But that should be fine, actually. Two hours should be fine. We should have had Joey age up and leave. We're doing this. I'm good. I'm trying for twins. Because the more often we have twins, the fewer baby deaths we've got to do, the, you know, faster we should hopefully be able to get through this challenge. Because we've only had, like... I'm going to say we've only had, actually had 16 kids, but only like 10 of them count so far. <laughs> and this is already episode like 49. So, or part 49. <gasps> yes, okay, the kids are home. Connie isn't quite finished baking the cake yet, that's fine. We've still got, oh, we've got 38 minutes. It depends whether Connie can finish his cake or not. Okay, so Joey is an eight grade student. We do. We have people who are eight grade students. He's gonna go and like, oh, basically just sit there. Oh, this is gonna be cutting it very fine. Cutting it very fine indeed. So the kids can just like go watch a movie for a bit um, to get their fun up. Guys, this is this is this is tense. I don't know if she's going to finish in 38 minutes. 30 minutes. No, this is not- this isn't going to work. Oh, she's going to give birth now. No. Pause. Can you, like, resume cake? At least that it's finished cooking. God, he's having a baby. No! I think we were probably like half an hour too early. It was like half an hour later. Connie had gone into, birth, into labour half an hour later than she did. We would have been able to have twins. Damn it! So nice. Oh, she's also got a rash. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. A new baby. What's it gonna be? It's a girl! Yay, let's have more girls now. Uh, so, two, three, four, five. Daniela. <sighs> Dang, that's so annoying. <sighs> so frustrating. Okay, anyway, she can feed the baby and do that. Have you. I thought you were resuming the cake. Oh, you were. There's the cake. Okay, so we'll go and add birthday candles. He's very dense. <laughs> Don't let me have another kid die. Please. I can't have another kid die. Aw, they're having a cute moment. No. <sighs> that was so close. So close, he's very dirty. Right, playful now though, so. It's his birthday, so we're gonna blow out some candles. He's gonna be ac academic, vegetarian, lazy, and an insider. That all kind of fits together, I think. So that's it. Joey is about to move out. And these two kids also get to age up, because they're both A grade students. So there we go. You can blow out the, your candles. It is also your your kind of birthday. Woohoo! <laughs> go kid, go! Right, this is more fun. I get to pick more things now. Uh, knowledge. Spellcraft and sorcery. Nice. Uh, an insider again. Okay, so Adriel wants to be a witchy, is a slob, and an insider. <laughs> cool. Now, Lexia needs to add some stuff for herself. And then she's gonna also do it. 
Woohoo! Oh, I like her style. I like that a lot. I'll try and keep that style. So, oh, I forgot she's a hot headed, isn't she? Um, whoops. Oh, she wants a big family as well. Too bad she's not going to be our matriarch. Oh, child of the ocean, but hot headed. Okay. So she wants to have a family on Sulani. Cool. Right, so. Due to us having now a. Ooh, some gross stuff in there. Due to Joey now being a young adult, he now counts towards our total and I will move him out of the house. Okay, so Joey is now moved out. Um, I haven't actually moved him in and in anywhere yet, uh, but he's probably, I don't know, I might make him and Saul move into an apartment or something in San Machuno, um, because I'm pretty sure that when Saul moved it out, I moved him into one of the other siblings' houses that like didn't have any like enough room for him so I try to move you know the the siblings out into houses and stuff and I can pretend they're living their life I don't really know what they're doing but anyway right so we have these kiddos and everyone's been popped out the front of the lot as happens when you know you move people around so it's a good point to just like reevaluate what everyone needs we'll get you to do some homework. Oh, you've brought home a project. Put that down. Sell your schoolwork. Your kitty schoolwork. She's also brought home a project. The same project. <laughs> so that's a bit silly, but there we go. Uh, again, we'll put that on the floor. I could just let you use Bum's bath to have a bath. You've also brought home a project. A different one, because you are a smaller child. And I'm gonna make you do your homework before you go to sleep. I think everyone has something to do. Cool. Actually, I was doing this wall of like photos, but I only have eight, which means like what, three, four of the kids? Three of the kids? Three of the kids who've moved out. I never actually took a photo with. So we're gonna figure out who we're missing and then we'll have to go and pay them a visit to find out who we're missing. So that's Bradley and Tom and Alan and Beth and Cassandra. That's Elijah after he died. <laughs> Whoops. Um, that's Clara and Kenny. So we don't have a picture with Alex, Alec, who was Elijah's twin, and we don't have a picture with Saul or Joey because I completely forgot before I moved him out. So those are ones that we need to go and get photos of. So we'll add a, f oh, I forgot you can add different color frames now. Let's go through and add some frames. Okay, so there we go. <sighs> we'll just keep adding to this. So we need to, I'll make a note of that. We need to go and get some more um, kid picks, and we need to super efficient big care them. Um, that's okay. So he is actually really hungry, and the toddlers have no food. That's bad. Um, wait, did I just see Joey? Did Joey just get out of the bath? Joey's still here. Okay. We like, he hasn't actually left yet. So maybe Connie can actually go and take a picture with him like right now. Um, wait, it's not like that, is it? It is in here. It's been ages since I've done this. Uh, take a photo with Joey. There we go. Oh wow, he keeps getting so like upset doesn't he so I need to go and like make him like teach to talk why not oh photo hopefully one of those is actually good normal 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 poor okay I 
think Joey should like goodbye. Can we like ask him to leave? I'm sure he'll disappear on his own. Right, so Oh, and I never put any toddler food in there, did I? Nope. <laughs> Okay, food for toddlers. Quite a bit of mac and cheese there, that's fine. Okay, he's had plenty of attention. Did she do her homework? No. Right, so she, needs, she needs to go do her homework and then go to bed. We've kicked you out, Joey. We kicked you out. Why have you not gone? Okay. Joey is officially annoying the heck out of me. He can leave. So leave. Mean. Go away. Just just leave the house, Joey. Feels like the time that Justin wouldn't leave us alone. Now it's our own kid. Okay, I can't get him to leave, but maybe... Maybe if in managed worlds I go and move him in somewhere, he's actually going to leave. Because this is the first time I haven't actually... Like... Forcefully moved out into a new house. And they all disappear, normally. But he has not, so... Let's try this again. Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay, guys. Joey is no longer here. He is elsewhere. I can't see him in the rest of the house. I think we're good. So, you know what? After all that drama, I think I'm going to leave this part here. Um, we've had three Sims grow up. One Sim left the house. Connie's given birth. Um, I feel that's quite a jam-packed episode. So, next week we will come back. It'll be later on, Tuesday morning. Um, and that episode will probably get Connie pregnant again, have some kids, be, you know, doing some homework, doing some projects, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Write any comments down below, you know, did you like the intro, etc. Any tips and tricks, let me know. Um, subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>